this video has been a long time coming but let me just say i don't know how people with a lot of kids or kids period like the other youtube channel people how the hell they make videos because if it's not one thing it's another and i've already tried to make this video today alone like so many times it was supposed to be a get ready with me video but mm, i had to restart 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 so i already have my eyebrows kind of done and i put a base um, I use this hard candy. I use a lot of different bases, but I use a white one. And then right now I was going to underline my brows with this Wonder Pencil from NYX. Um, so I haven't been gone for a long time because we moved. A f we moved twice um, in the past like year and a half. We bought a house. Um, and then we sold that house and we got another house. Um, it was just, it just seemed really convenient for us to do that because the houses where we live at are going up really, really fast. It doesn't make sense because ugh, supposedly like a new company and all of this is supposed to make more jobs and you know how that works. They automatically think that rent has to go up and all that, but house prices and apartments are even worse um so yeah and i finally found my room has like a bright window and it's really nice for for doing that i'm gonna use this nyx birthday palette i got it for my birthday last year from ulta for free i thought it was pretty nice i'm just using an orangey color as a base it's a simple makeup i just gotta go do some stuff but i don't really do my makeup all the time but I just felt like I'll get a little ready for the F of it. Um, anyway, an update on my channel. I don't know what to do. I don't know what kind of videos to make. I like making informational videos as well as different stuff because I like to watch different stuff. I haven't really seen a lot of videos on topics that I like to talk about. So that's why one of the reasons why I kind of started this video. I mean, this channel-ish type of thing. But I kind of don't know where to go from here. Like, I started it because I'm a stay-at-home mom. And it gets lonely. It gets boring. Not boring because, let me just say, I have my hands full. But this is kind of like a little escape. And I thought it was really nice. While it lasted the videos I would do, it was super nice to have that little escape from your kids and although it's not like a mutual me talking to you guys and you talking back it does help relieve a little bit of stress it's really nice to just basically talk to myself but not and share some information that i have and i know that like on facebook some of the friends i have that are out of state and stuff they do ask me stuff and that's when i have made videos um about it because i did i used to watch a lot of different youtube channels and some of them are like my long distance friends now and it's really nice because i used to be like an obsessed fan and i've actually became really cool friends with a couple of those like it's just really nice to have friends like that another reason why i made it was i think i had a loss of a child a few years back and i was like silently depressed and i know this is kind of I'm not talking about everybody. I'm not singling anybody out. I'm singling myself out. But as a Hispanic Mexican, I'm a Mexican, you know. And it's really taboo to, like, seek help. It's really, I know it sounds bad, but I feel like we're kind of ignorant when it comes to that. I'm not speaking for everybody. I'm speaking for me. And we're kind of bad at that. We don't really believe in therapy or you know stuff like that so it was really hard when i had that happen because i know my family was there for me like my mom but it's really hard to talk about something like that because i know my mom and my parents were super sad about it as well so you you kind of try to be the strong one and i was strong for a little too long and when i finally snapped it was just really bad um i was very unhappy i was going through through it really bad and I think that carried on throughout my life 
Um, it's something very traumatic, especially the way it happened. And I feel like it scarred me even through my other pregnancies because you're scared. Like, you're scared to be pregnant. You're scared that something will happen, especially when it happens with no reason. When you don't know why it happened, when you don't know, you blame yourself, you know. And I feel like that carried on with me forever. I get depressed out of nowhere. It's really hard. It helps to have a husband that is there for me, that supports me, has my back. He understands that sometimes I just get in some sad moods and he's really there for me, you know. But making videos helped me a lot. I feel like learning to talk about it, it's never easy and it's harder when you keep it in, which is what I've done a lot with my loss. I don't wish it on anybody, but I do suggest to talk about it. Don't keep it in. I think that's what really screwed me over. Not talking about it to anybody till one day I kind of just exploded with my feelings and I lost it. I was drinking and, you know, it was just not that good. Um. Anyway, update back on that you know talk to your friends i know sometimes it feels like you don't want to bore your friends with it but just bring it up you know don't don't let yourself be depressed talk to your husband about it i know sometimes we feel they don't understand but how can they understand when we don't tell them you know guys are like that you have to literally paint a picture but once you do they know how to deal with it they know that you just need them to be there regardless of what it is um, update, I babysit, so that makes it a little harder because I have more kids on my hand. I have two more kids on my hands than my own three, but they're not bad. One's one year old. We're getting him to start walking a little bit. He's taking forever, but I had to stop again. Uh, okay, what was he saying? Um, I don't know, just finishing this update because I'm kind of rambling on like a lot. And, you know, who likes ramblers? Um, so I babysit. I got a new home. And it's easier because I have a better place to film. Not better place, but I get good lighting here. I do want to start making more videos. So whatever type of videos you guys want to see, leave me some comments. Give me some feedback. Um, I don't know. It's just kind of hard, like, to come up with things to talk about. Um, I'm probably going to make a breastfeeding video. This is mascara I use. Um, probably going to talk about breastfeeding because me and breastfeeding have a love-hate relationship. I love this primer. I don't really use foundation a lot or hardly ever, just when I really want to, like, go all out. I'm breaking out a lot, too. I don't know why. I think because I need water in my life, and I haven't been drinking water at all. And it's bad, but... <laughs> I don't know how to fix that. NYX is, like, one of my favorite brands because it's super affordable, and they have really good quality stuff. It's the bomb. Literally. Like, this little palette, like, you literally can make a whole eye look. Everything with just one little palette. This primer is really nice. It says it's a uh, no-filter blurring primer, and I feel like it does. Like, it makes your skin, like, really, like, finished, but not so much, like, coverage or whatever. I was going to put a fake eyelashes on, but I'm not because ain't nobody got time for that. Just going to put some eyeshadow under my eyes. I already look like a zombie anyway. Might as well, right? Um, oh, my daughter that I was pregnant with when I was making videos is almost 18 months. We're still nursing. And I don't feel like she's ever going to stop either. Just like her sister. It is really hard for me to cut my other baby off. And I still have a lot of regrets about it. I wonder if everybody has, like, you know, you go through that. I feel like I emotionally scarred my baby. Okay, maybe not all that exaggerated, but um, 
I feel like I messed that up, you know, like the bond me and my baby had. She's three now. But still, I feel like I wanted her to keep breastfeeding. It wasn't that I didn't want to breastfeed her, but it was just really, really painful when I was pregnant with my second daughter. And it was hard. It was hard dealing with, you know, wanting emotionally, wanting to keep breastfeeding. But also needing to be okay for myself because when I breastfed through the pain, it made it hard, like emotionally, because... You don't want to be in pain when you're pregnant. You want to have a good pregnancy. You want to enjoy your pregnancy. You just got to do what you got to do for your well-being while you're pregnant. That's very important. I learned that along the way of everything. Um, So that's it for this little rant slash update slash I don't know what you guys want to call it. But Whatever type of videos you guys want to see, just let me know. Leave a comment. Subscribe to my channel. I am going to start making more videos, even if it takes all day. But I will. Hopefully, I upload this video today. And thanks for watching.